Those who have travelled in the Chola country will have noticed a peculiarity in the landscape. When the rivers that make the Chola country fertile land flood, the flood level is much higher than the ground level on either side of the river. It is because of this that it is possible for the flood from the rivers to flow through the canals to the fields. Is it not a very difficult task to make the flood flow along the river bed in this situation? High banks should be firmly established on both sides of the rivers. Otherwise, instead of flowing with the river, the rainwater would run off in all directions, turning the Chola country into a waterlogged swamp and rendering it useless. In view of this, the Chola kings from the earliest times paid much attention to the construction of banks for the Kaveri and its tributaries. Nears would know the history that Karakal Valavan brought the war losers from Elam as prisoners and engaged them in the work of clearing the banks of the Kaveri. The Chola kings built a stone wall about an ear's distance east of Srirangam to help keep the water in the Kaveri's tributaries at a good upper level. The dam raised the water level further and allowed more water to flow into the tributaries. In this way the natural system along with continuous artificial efforts made the Chola country an unparalleled country in water resources in ancient times. While this nature provided special favors to the rich Chola country, it also sometimes created perverse risks. East of the coast of the Chola region, there are frequent squalls and gales in the sea. These winds sometimes move north along the coast and in the Krishna Godavari estuaries or in the Kalinga country, inland, and cause heavy rains causing severe damage. At other times it would enter directly into the Chola country and rush westwards. This type of whirlwind entering inland between Kadakare and the mouth of Kalatakkarahi has happened many times in history. At times, the Ashutha winds are so terrible that they make the sea swell up and destroy the coastal towns. It is not a myth that the sea contains Kaveri Patnam, which is given as Pumbukar, it is a fact that can be proved by historical evidence. Sometimes the banks of the rivers break when the flood is high. Because the ground level is lower than the water level of the rivers, even if there is a breach, the whole area will be flooded with water. Towns near rivers will be submerged. At that time, the temples in the neighborhood would have helped the people to escape. History says that Vijayalaya Chola's son Aditha Chola built 108 temples from Sahajya Hill, where the Kaveri originates, to its confluence with the Manati Sea. Could it not be the intention of Aditha Chola that just as the temples are used for worshipping God in normal times, in times of heavy floods people climb on the temple halls and escape for their lives? Sometimes the course of the rivers changes due to the breaching of the river banks. It is known from the old histories that rivers like Arislaram, Kudamuriyudi etc. have shifted and changed their direction many times. Let us now come to the time when our history took place. When Parthibendra's ship was coming from the island of Sri Lanka to the Chola country, the whirlwind caused Prince Arulmas Hivarmara to jump into the sea in front of Vandiyathevan, then it went along the coast and reached the country of Kalinga and disappeared. But when Arulmas Hivarmar was staying at Sudamani Viharam at Nagaipatanam, a whirlwind entered the Chola country and went towards the west, making many violent noises. In one night it performed its leelas on both sides of the Kaveri and the next day it reached Konganath and faded away. Not only did it wreak havoc wherever it travelled, after that, it started to rain heavily. It rained more as we went west. So the next day there was an immense flood in the Kaveri and Kaladam and their tributaries. Many rivers burst their banks. Due to the rains and the bursting of the rivers, the entire Chola country has become a flooded forest. But so many natural calamities did not paralyze the people of Chola Nadu. Because of these frequent events, people knew what to do in such situations. By that time they would climb up the temple halls or other high places and escape. The faster the flood comes, the faster it recedes. Those who have lost their houses will build houses immediately with the help of the people in the neighborhood. They will not sit with their hands on their heads and say, Oh! It's gone! At that time there lived in the Chola country a self-confident people who did not know that fatigue was laziness. Otherwise they could not have achieved the miracles that the world is still amazed by today. When the Vanatha temple failed to climb the Mandapam and fell into the water, those who had climbed the Mandapam first became worried. But that concern soon changed. 
seeing Venati perched on the roof of the astrologer's house gave them courage. Iliaprati was somewhat excited. Kundave Devi was always excited to put Vanathi in dangerous situations and see how she coped. Younger Brady had difficulty in wanting to be a strong-hearted girl who was going to marry his heroic younger brother. Kundave used many tricks and tricks to cultivate such a desire in Vanatha's heart. She was also convinced that those strategies had yielded good results. Wasn't Vanati out of the habit of fainting for some time? Now an opportunity has arisen to test Vanati's thera without any of Kundave's tricks. Vanati was resting on a thatched roof, surrounded by floods. Is she not afraid? Will she not give up her courage until the astrologer's disciple brings her a boat and rescues her? Yes, she will be. No doubt. Will the training that has been given all this time become useless? As Kundeva was thinking like this, all Alwarkadian said, Mother! What is this? The roof seems to be moving. He said. Something's wrong with your eye. The flood is moving, the roof seems to be moving said Kundave. As soon as she said this, doubts arose in her heart. Its symptoms were also seen on the face. Mom! Take a good look! All Workadians said. Oh! What is this perversity? said the youngest brat. Astrologer! Will your disciple soon come with the boat? All Workadians said. Enough! Enough! Enough of trusting the astrologer and his disciple. Tyrumala. See if you can save Venati, if not, I must jump into the flood myself. If anything happens to Venati, then I shall not live a moment. She said. Mother. One must not lose one's composure in times of danger. This is not unknown to them. I am willing to give my life to help the Kajumbalar princess, should it be of any use? I alone swam without a boat and I can go to that roof and climb up. Will the roof that supports the Kajumbalar princess bear me as well? Or will the roof cave in with both of them trapped in the flood? I'll have to think about that. They both looked back at Punghawali's laughter. The life of the princess of Kajumbalar will be over before this valiant Vaishnava finishes thinking. Said Punghawali. If that happens, this runner girl will be happy. When all Alwarkadian said that, anger boiled over Punghawali's face. Thirumalai continued, but, Devi, nothing like that will last. Thirumal, who saves the universe with Alil's upper school, will also save Vanati. Srimanarayanan, who saved this earth by taking the incarnations of Maka, Kurma, and Vara, will also save the princess of Kajumbalar. See. Look. The astrologer with the boat. He's coming. The boat was indeed coming in the direction indicated by Alwarkadian. The boat was slowly coming towards the temple hall where they were against the speed of the flood. The roof on which Venati was climbing was also going away with the flood. It will take a long time for the boat to come here and take them away. Venati will be far away by then. Even if she disappears from sight, she will disappear. Considering all this, the people standing in the hall shouted loudly at the astrologer who came in the boat, signals were also made. Thinking that he was being asked to come quickly, he tried to speed up the boat. Pungazali then looked at Kundave and said, Devi! Give me permission. I will swim and divert the boat and bring the princess of Kajumbalar on board. She said. Kundeva hesitated a little. She remembered that Vanatha fell into the flood when Pungazali went to give her hand. Goddess believe me, it was because of my carelessness that the princess fell into the flood. So it is my duty to rescue her. Punguzali said. Woman. I trust you. But not Vanati. Said Kundave. Aha. You mean he'll probably refuse to board the boat I'm in? Then I'll put him on board and get off. Saying that, Punguzali jumped into the flood. She rushed towards the boat. Kundave looked at the astrologer and said, Sir! Astrologer! I had so much faith in your Shastra, today I have lost that faith. She said. But today I got full confidence. 
Devi. According to the horoscope of the Kajumbalar princess, she should get a big continent today. I thought it would come through Palyavetarayar. I was surprised when it didn't come. The continent came differently. The princess will escape to this continent and survive. Aha! His unique hand lines. All that I have said concerning him shall come to pass, there is no doubt about it. Said. Beautiful, how will it come true? Even if Vanati survives to this continent, your prophecy will not come true. Didn't you hear the vow that woman made in your house a while ago? Said Kundave. Whatever vow one makes, my divination will come true. If it doesn't, I will throw all my astrological instruments into the river Kaveri. This is my vow. Said the astrologer. Then all Workadians said, Astrologer. Mata Kaveri did not wait for you to throw your sheep. She took it herself. He said. The astrologer was stunned to realize the truth of what he had said. Yet, my astrology will not fail. He muttered under his breath, 